Hello, Craig Birch at the Greech Green Cafe in West Bromwich for an afternoon, a bank holiday afternoon, Sunday afternoon even, with Glenn McCoy, where we have here a uh, special guest for today, Jason Wellborn. Jace, enjoying a, a, a Sunday not training and so on, and uh, wait, waiting for that next ring date, I guess. So. Yeah, just waiting. Been up the village today, I've come here for, been invited here for the day, so just having a chill out today and hopefully. I should hear something soon as like. Hear something soon as, so that'll be, is there a few things in the pipeline at the moment, is there? Or? There's nothing as names as we've spoke like. We've spoke to people, obviously, I want something for me to get off get off my backside more now. Yeah. I've got my eye on that British and I want the Commonwealth and that's what I want and we all know who's got that title. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it's interesting we're in West Bromwich today and so on. Um, I, was, I didn't realise you were a West Bromwich Albion fan as well, so... Yeah, I, I, my family, the Wellborns, I'm from... I've been brought up 40 years, 50 odd years around well, West Bromwich, I mean, I'm... I'm a proper West Brom bloke, I'm in here now and people are saying, oh, what are you, Folk Langford and this... Oh, I knew it wouldn't be long, I knew it wouldn't be long. I'm getting this and I'm like... The battle you know, of the baggies! I'm getting the like, battle of the baggies that'd bombers! Be, that'd be a good fight, I'm like, I'll get on with Langford and this and that, but when you're in here and this and that, like, oh, I'm fine. You're selling a lot of tickets for West Brom and I'm like, I, I, I have never had the support of the West Brom. Yeah. So, if anything, he's from Devon, I'm from bloody West Brom, I'm born and bled in West Brom, so... You know what I mean? Let's get that fight on. <laughs> let's get it on and let's see who's got it. I didn't have to say much before, before we got talking about it, yeah, did we? I mean, so. I don't call now on it, I never have, but it does, it's, getting, it's getting on my nerves now and I'm just thinking, let's get, let's get these fight on. Cunningham was supposed to be in line for it, but makes sense. It's all about money. It, what's going to sell the most tickets? Cunningham ain't going to sell many tickets, being from uh, Birmingham and it's not. Two West Brom fans and all the baggies. Let's get it on. You know what I mean? Wow, powerful stuff, Jason, and so on. But obviously, Langford, you know, Langford, fair play to him. You know, he stepped up, he stepped up to the level, got stopped by Kurt Sids, uh, but you know, it did, it did dispose deficiencies in his game and so on. You're a puncher as well. Do you feel like you could, you could smash through Tom if, if it came down to it? So well, I, I just got another camp, other training, and done. Obviously, we were training for the Mar Marcus Morrison, and um, we'll go from there. But obviously, whether it, not, I'll get on with Langford, but it, this is business now, and obviously with the British and comment, he's got him. And obviously the, that's where I want to be heading now. This is my third time for the British. I've got the camp, I've got the people that back on me now. I can, I've got the sponsoring to have the time off work. Yes. Get time. So whoever, whoever at middleweight, I'm ready for anyone. I'm yeah. ready for anyone, I don't care who it is. I ain't bother now, I want, this, I want these fights. And I'm in it. I could have a good few. Of, I've got a lot more fights left in me. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm, re I'm, ready for, I'm ready for anyone now. So get these promoters, just just get get me in there with them now. I'm, I'm sick of it. Like, I want that British, I want that Commonwealth. Let's have it. Of course, of course. Well, the Commonwealth has actually moved. Oh, wowzers. <laughs> the Commonwealth has actually changed hands. Yeah, Sam Sheedy won the vacant belt and so on. So, yeah. you know. I don't know. Well, whoever, as long as he's got something for game, there's no point me going backwards. And like, we had a little chat earlier. You've got Ryan Aston, people. Ryan Aston, I could not get out of bed for that fight. And obviously, I ain't saying I box the best, but I bet him and I worked up through for that fight. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, there's a lot of banter, this and that. I see it now, it's done and dusted, but when people are tagging me and all this and that, what do I want to step down a level and fight someone like him for now? He's got to get up there. He's yeah. been, I'm up there now and I want them fights. Yeah. So, people like that shouldn't even be mentioned in my interviews. That's not disrespecting anyone, but I bet him then at the worst Jason Wellborn really. And I think I was, but I've still had a bit of a good camp, but I was juggling everything. Mm. But now I'm ready I'm, I'm ready for the people what I want to get out of bed for and go for them titles. Yeah. Not backtracking no more. I've done the backtracking, I'm going forward and that's that's it. Of course is Langford the man then? Is Langford the, well, the, the, the Langford, name that you Langford's want? Langford's got so. the British title and obviously there's baggies in here today and I'm talking and all for and I'm thinking I am a promoter, I'm a fighter, but these promoters get together, whatever's going to sell better. I don't know if, Lang if Langford's having a bit of a rest, I don't know. Obviously, well, he's going to rest for a while, he's it was just a, come off oh, a tough fight. fight. Yeah. He, had a, he, had, he, he got knocked about a bit, but he'll be back, you know what I mean? And he's got something to fall back on, and he's yeah. done a lot for you call knock the lad, he's done a lot for the boxing. But obviously, he's got that title, if he wants to fall back on him. Let him fall back onto me, and obviously me and him get it on. Of course, of course, the West Bromwich Albion thing does sort of play into it as well, and it so just, on. So. Obviously, the last week people have been like, everyone West Brom. I'm living for West Brom. I speak to all the West. He writes for their match program, doesn't he? Yeah, you know, they, 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 they all follow. They all follow him, and I'm thinking they don't come and watch my fights. You know, what yeah. I mean? it's a bit, it's a bit bad, and I'm thinking, hang on. He's from Devon, this and that, whether he's from Birmingham, I've spoken in Birmingham, I don't know where he's from. You know I mean, I spoke to him a handful of times, but I followed him and I've watched him fight, and because he's a middleweight, but I'm strong at middle and I felt good. And like, 
I'm doing my strength and I've done all my strength this week. I'm feel strong as a bull. I'm ready to just get that date and get into camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the challenge is laid out then. You well, and Langford for the British. It, it, I suppose Craig Cody was going to ask something to say, but I, it, again, it's difficult to say. You know, we, I, like they said, we're not promoters, are we? Well, yeah. No one's promoters, obviously. Cunningham, whoever gets the fight, fair play to him, but he wants to go somewhere. He wants something. Cunningham, I come off a loss trying to make weight and lost to Warburton, who shouldn't even been in the ring with me. Obviously, just to tick over, end up losing, making weight decisions. Then I had to fall back onto Cunningham and end up getting a bad decision on that, which people think it was a draw, a loss, this and that. But whether it was a draw, whether it was a loss, the, them fights have put past me now. And if I've got a camp, and if he's got a camp, and there's proper judges and officials that night, we'd get it on. I'd get it on with Cunningham tomorrow. These and the fights, what am out there? Yeah. You know I mean, if he wants to let that British go, me and Cunningham can fight for it. It makes sense. But the promoters have just got to like let it go and let get it on. You know of, I mean? course, of course, Cunningham of course. Cunningham would sell fights. I'd sell tickets. So, you I mean once you get a proper officials in that ring that night, it's on telly and there's no arguing. You know what I mean? So of course. There's a lot of fights out there in the middle, like, but yeah. that bag is one and people talking today in the last couple of weeks and I'm saying bloody hell well you're in for West Brom what we'll bring them all coming I'm saying we'll come and get a coach this time and watch you for it but you get a lot of people phoning me since I've won the last one but I'll, as long as I'm as long as I can get off my backside now and gain some more titles I'll be happy okay okay so I guess for the people watching this you know Jason Wellborn's ready when you are, I guess, isn't it? So. I'm ready waiting. I've got Dean Hitchcock from Dayway sponsoring me. So I've been ticking over the last two weeks. I've been on holiday, done a couple of runs out there. I've come back. I've only put about a stone and a bit on. I'm, I'm ready to get back onto my dieting tomorrow. I'm ready. You know I mean? I'm, I'm just waiting for that date. But mm. you need that date to get, get you fully, obviously, with my diet inside. I need that date to get me mentally. But I'm on it on a daily basis you now because obviously it's a full time job. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it, and obviously it's a business. So, uh, in the business, where do you want to, you don't want to be working six days a week for bloody peanuts. You know what I mean? No, that sounds very similar to what I do actually, Jason. Now you could imagine it. I want them fights now. Okay. You know I mean? And I think I'm ready, and I deserve them, British and Commonwealth. Mm, the time is now, as the old adage goes. Then I guess so, uh, the balls in the, the balls in other people's courts now. Okay, excellent, fantastic. Right, thanks so much, Jason. We're going to go and listen to what Glenn's got to say. We'll see you again next time. Let's go, thank you. Shit, get to.